time to get out my new pedal drive toy. Let's take it for a spin. All right, I know you'd love to see all my amazing bike skills, but this is the real test. Time to put this new PDO 120 Old Town Sportsman into the water for the first time for me. They're doing some gravel work up there and I, I had to pull my vehicle off the side and um, I'm a little worried it might be stuck. But we won't worry about that right now. Let me get my everything set up, organized in here. I'm in the water. It's a little murky down here. I thought it'd be a little cleaner. I, uh, I'm hoping to catch some fish. I'm also hoping some white bass will be around. Maybe some spots, largemouth. All right, let's pop this thing loose, drop it in there. Let's see, so no water's coming in the kayak. Alrighty. Let's drop that. All right, we're gonna go down here. This is the place I really wanted to test this out the most. That's why we're going here for my maiden voyage. Yes, yes, yes. What is that? Is it a bass? Oh, it's a big old white bass. Oh, man. I didn't think I was going to catch that on this lure. He's bleeding. Look at that thing. He just inhaled that crankbait. All right, hold on, buddy. All right, that big uh, crankbait got the big old guy. I don't know if he's gonna make it or not. I can't believe how much he just inhaled that thing. There's, one. There's another one, probably another white bass. Right here where I caught that other one. I switched to a, my little orange Bobby Garland. Came back in that spot. I'm hoping to get in some of these guys. Yep. Yeah, these are the fun ones to catch here. Pretty good size. 15 inch uh, white bass. What is this little guy? Or? He was right off the bank. Yeah. They're in here. That's cool. It's fun when you find the fish you're looking for. I don't really care if I catch any other kind of bass. If I can just get on a bunch of these, which is fine. With the thick guys too. Especially on this light setup, really cool. There it is. Feels like another white bass. Hey, I might found him again. I couldn't find any more. That's a little over one. I couldn't find any more where I had that one spot. So uh, I'm paddling back upstream to the ramp over there. And uh, the side over here is a lot calmer than that side. So I was like, well, let me fish it and as I'm paddling up it. And uh, had a bite, then caught one. I'm uh, hoping to like get on top of just a school of them. Oh, oh, come on. Yeah, 
Yes, there we go. Here's a couple. Oh, this feels like a good one. Nice. Man, this is a pretty good outing. First outing on my kayak. I'll stay over here on the bank. Oh, this guy's chunky. That first one I caught was definitely the biggest one. I'd like to catch a couple more like that. Maybe not bleeding. And um, I'd like to weigh one of them if I can get a really big one. That's a good, good guy. Oh, yeah. They're thumping it. Nice. They got no problem taking it. They're getting it deep. Dude, that feels good. That guy's at least a pound. These things are so thick. Fun, strong fish. It's a good time. Glad they're starting to run and get in here. Hopefully they'll stay for a month or so. I'm gonna go back to this crankbait just to see if I can get any of those bigger ones to come out. We definitely, definitely know there's some there, so. Let's see what this does. We'll just try it, see if it'll, see if it'll catch them. Oh, I'll hit the grass, I think. Yep, yep, I thought I had a hit. Then I, oh, yeah, it feels like a good one. Good boy. Get them twisted around. He's pretty good. I just don't want to get caught in this uh, fence post over here. Oh yeah, fourteen and a half. So that's not even our biggest one. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, oh, we're back on him. We're back on him. Thought, uh, well, I had lost him for a minute. Kept coming up, working up. Back on another one. Gotta be careful over here. I'm kinda in the, in the trees. Just looking for these little calm pockets. Hitting up in there. Sink a thing in there. This is only a 130 seconds ounce jig head. A little Bobby Garland, but they're just, they're just coming up and hitting it. Back on them, back on them. Just have to get back over here again. It's two from that spot right there. Let's see if we can sit right here without drifting away this time. I'm using Mo Glow Baby Shed the Sunrise. And I, maybe in the last video or whenever it was, it was two days ago, we were fishing and catching a bunch of yellow bass and a bunch of other stuff, me and Chris. And I noticed that I had, I put one of these sunrises on there and I would, I was doing a double jig rig and whatever color, I, other color I'd put on there, the sunrise was getting hit at least four to one on fish bites. And we were also using red crankbaits and stuff like that. And compared to anything else you're using, it was just killing it, that bright color. So uh, I figured with a little bit of murky water, and just the same, the same time of the year, just a couple days later, just different body of water. It ought to work good and it's, it's doing good. Not really doing much. They're usually just gonna take it yeah, like that. Like if, they're, if it's coming near them, they're usually just hammering it. 
All right, it's three out of this spot. He's a little bit littler. I would throw that crankbait, but it's a lot of stuff to get tangled on. And these are a lot easier just to get unhooked. Not a bad little after noon. Get out of there. Come here. Catching some fish. Oh, wow. You see that one take it? That's a good one. That's the biggest one of the day. Or maybe not, maybe not. But he thumped it. He got me out in the current too, no. Man, he messed me up. That was a pretty good one. All right, let me get back over here. And as soon as I hit, so he pulled me out just out in the current enough for my boat caught. This guy, oh man, this is a good one. Look at that fish. He just, oh, he wasn't even hooked. He just hit so fast. He didn't, I didn't even get to set the hook on him. Nice. Another 15 incher. Well, I also may have lost my phone. All right, I'm putting that guy back in there. Let me find my phone. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna get out. Can't really get back on them. And uh, that current is really flowing. It's, I'm glad I wasn't in my regular one, but um, even for this pedal drive, there's a lot to fight, to work with. It's, it's uh, probably a couple feet up normal than what it normally is on both rivers. Uh, those white bass are fighting good. I know there's a bunch more of them out there if I can just find out right where they're at, but hopefully they'll be coming through for a while. A um, couple things I'm trying to get adjusted to is where to put my rods whenever there's trees up. Usually I'm gonna lay them in front. I might be able to find something to put right here, like some kind of thing where I can lay my rods right in the middle. But uh, it's got these little grooves on the side. I don't know, if, I guess that's what they're made for. I can lay a rod right there, you know, and lay a rod right here. That's only you know, two of them out of the way. They probably do a couple there, but they're out of the way and I got big feet and I have no trouble. I'm not hitting them. You know, they're not, not being a problem there. I can just grab them. So that, that's a, I like that setup like the way it is. Well, might as well hit the lake. I got about an hour, an hour and a half before I gotta do something else. So they'll get another, get a little run around the lake. Fish on. No way. I actually did catch a fish on the little Bobby Garland. Oh my. I just kind of started throwing it around. I was like, I gotta catch a fish. I've been out here for 58 minutes. Little spotted bass, Bobby Garland. Let's see if it's 12 inches. Shut your mouth. Oh, -ho -ho! he's 12 and a half. I know this this month is the month of March for the tournament and more than likely there's gonna be some giant fish caught. But I signed back up just to keep paying the money to keep nope. Well see, I didn't need that little one anyways. This is too small. I'm gonna I'm gonna catch a bigger ones. There's another one. How about that? Same spot. Can't tell how big it is. I got my light set up. Feels pretty good though. Oh, I forgot I had the net. Oh, that's a good fish. Yes, sir. -y. <laughs> don't come off, don't come off. Yes. <laughs> oh, how crazy is that? I got the little one. I lose it. He jumps off. I throw back in there. And I get another one. On that same little 
thing that's been catching them earlier today. Now, some people put their nets right here to try to catch them for jump sand. That other one would jump so far, it wouldn't have made it. 14 and a half. Oh, okay. All right, I didn't want to get showed very well. I got my picture. That's the first one in my tournament, 14 and a half. It's not a bad little start. Well, that's uh, that was pretty exciting for my first time out in the kayak. It's awesome that I'll be able to get that. It's just it's just amazing that I'm able to I'd be at this point where somebody sent me a kayak like that. Now, now I definitely I want two of them. I want to get my goal is to have uh, several kayaks, and I actually want two different pedal drives because I want to be able to take other people out with me, uh, so like that. But that thing is so handy and useful. Um, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. I can't wait till this um, the weather warms up just a little bit more. A lot of these places are getting really on fire, and I plan to do a lot of kayaking this year. Something I definitely want to. Do rivers and some creeks and um, definitely some lakes, especially like my local lakes here. I want to kind of really get good at that. And I, I'm, I'm still going to do all my creek wading and a lot of stuff like that. I hope it doesn't uh, upset some people, but that's just that's what I'm going to do. And that's a that's a plan that I want to you know keep improving, get better at, do these kayak tournaments, and um, just keep on you know enjoying it. That's why I want to do things that make me happy and I enjoy to do. And uh, hopefully I, I can show it to y'all and y'all enjoy it too. Thanks for watching.